Hello, thank you for considering AS and A-level music technology here at Dubai English Speaking College. The AS level is over one year completed in year 12, while the A-level is over two years completed in year 12 and 13. They, comp they comprise of the same components, um, weighted the same. However, component one and two, the coursework elements, are uh, shorter on the AS level, and component three and four, which are the written exams, are in more detailed depth and understanding at A-level than AS level. Component one is the recording aspect of the course. This is my favorite part. And it's essentially a non-exam assessment. So it's coursework based and the students essentially record a song from start to finish. They get given 10, 10 artists to choose from and they can choose any song in their catalog. We've had Ed Sheeran, Foo Fighters, Muse, many artists in the past from different genres and different eras. And they record their instrumentalists in our state-of-the-art studio and then they take what they've recorded and they mix and master it into a final recording. Uh, component 2 is based on technology-based composition which means that there is no recording element. They are creating another piece of composition and it's a coursework base worth 20% however it has to be done digitally on a computer. Um, they're given a brief or a stimulus such as a video, a poem, a picture or a topic and they can be very creative to create a soundtrack of two and a half, three minutes long, all digitally based. Um, students particularly like this one because they can get very, very, very creative, uh, especially those that uh, really enjoy electronic music. Uh, component three is the listening and analyzing. This is worth 25%, and this is a written exam uh, completed at the end of year 12 if you're doing AS or at the end of year 13 if you're doing A level. And it's testing on their knowledge and understanding of recording and production techniques in the context of unfamiliar commercial recordings. Essentially what that means is they get given songs and they have to uh, pick out, th they could be given a piece of the song in which they have to um, figure out how it was recorded at that time or what effect was applied to a certain instrument in that track. And section B is essentially extended written response, so they're asked to compare two songs Usually one is a cover of the other done many years in advance and they have to know in depth the detail of genres and eras and how music production has changed over time. And finally component four, uh, which is worth the biggest chunk of the course, 35%, is to reproduce what it's like to be a music producer. So time constraint tasks uh, can be corrective or creative. Uh, where they're given audio files, maybe MIDI files, and they have to correct them under time conditions in an exam. Am I suited to this course? So there are no prerequisites for music technology. However, students must have a keen interest in how music is recorded and produced. Okay, so they need to have a basic understanding of music and have a passion for it. Um, it is useful for a student to be able to play a key instrument to a competent standard so they have an understanding of keys and scales and how music is composed. Also what is really useful is having any sort of keyboard or piano skills. Um, on the slide here you can see a picture of a MIDI keyboard which is used a lot especially for component two. Music technology is a really niche subject that opens many many doors into the um, the world of music production essentially. So you have uh, opportunities in broadcasting, on TV, podcasts, uh, composer for films, video games, working in live entertainment at gigs, at stadiums. There are many, many areas in the world where a music producer and someone who has a deep understanding of music technology is useful for. Thank you for considering ASMA level music technology.